They're not 100% with me. There are things that happened behind my back, conversations that happened behind my back which you never mentioned to me. They're not a shit out of me. I think that annoy me with Taban. And like he's a smart guy, no? Sometimes I'm thinking that smart. Cause no, please don't do this, no. Like in. It makes me feel some type of way because he doesn't know I know. No. Welcome back, guys. Kosi and Tabang took over the night again. Hey! Talk about drama king and drama queen. Men and brethren, yesterday's party was lit. Shout out to the DJ, DJ Lerato. Oh my days. That lady, mwah, you deserve your flowers. Beautiful DJ that vibed with the housemate. She really, truly parted. With the housemaid guys don't worry i'll just tell about the party i think at the end of the video okay but let's talk about you know last night drama after party drama kosi and tabang you know had good time at the party you know there was kissing here and there in fact when the party was over they were still all over each other you know and after some minutes big brother now showed kosi and tabang both seated on the bed in something. Both of them carrying long face. I'm like, what is going on? Not be two people were just locked mouth a few minutes ago. What is this straight face all about? Tabang is trying to ask Kosi after what is going on. Kosi is not responding. When it seems like, okay, Kosi is ready to talk. Tabang is raising his hand like, shh, shh, shh. I'm no longer interested. But at the end of the day, they kept talking, you know, and Kosi opened up that I don't like what you are doing, Tabang, because in this relationship, it seemed like you are not 100% real with me. And Tabang was like, really? Like, what do you mean? Kosi kept saying that there are things that happen behind my back, you know, conversations that happen behind my back that you never mentioned to me. And I'm very, very sure of it. Like, I'm very aware of those conversations. And I feel like someone, if someone is real with you, they have, if they have pure intentions, those type of things are the kind of conversation they will bring up to the table. But for you not to bring up that conversation, I don't know if you are 100% genuine with me. I have given you many chances and you've never done that. Oh, but there was plenty shalaye. Men and brethren, you know, night about carrying two legs, stand up from the bed and left. He did not even flinch. But after the whole long explanation Kosi gave, he stood up and left. I'm like, what just happened here? So Kosi was on the bed. I think Justin noticed, you know, the whole movement between Tabang and Kosi. Justin I came upstairs. I think Justin is that guy that is a little bit interested in Kosi and Tabang's relationship. And I've noticed when after every party, Justin and Kosi have a way of you know gisting and talking about the ship going up between, you know, Kosi and Tabang. So he noticed that, okay, something is actually going on. Justin came to Kosi, you know, uh, to have conversation. Men and brethren, that has to be the longest gist ever. Guys, Kosi started with saying that Tabang, one thing that annoys her about Tabang is this. Tabang is always that guy that's always acting smart. But the honest truth is this. He is not as smart as he claims to be. Um, that kind of person that reads people's character. That is really funny how Tabang, you know, doesn't seem straightforward with her. And in fact, she even explained to Justin how the whole Tabang thing came about. It was just because of the whole thing that happened between her and Yemi. You know, that is why the whole Tabang thing came up because she's this kind of person that if you are treating her bad, especially in relationships, she will just lay low. But at the end of the day, when she will come out, you know, to do her own thing back, you will not see her coming. All right. That was what brought about, you know, the whole Tabang situation 
you know, she kept venting and saying that Tabang is just this guy that that will never come straight forward. And it's so annoying that he's trying to act or depict or make the viewers know that he's acting a certain way. You know, he says some things that he does not even mean it. But just because he's trying to create a narrative for himself, you see him sticking to that pattern. And Justin was like, you know, this guy is 21 year old. We are age mates. So I understand him. And you, you are more matured. Kosi kept saying that it's so annoying how Taban will be acting a certain way this minute and some persons will come and say some things to him and all of a sudden he will start acting cold, acting like somebody that is not making use of his brain. I'm like, hey, this matter is serious though. First thing I asked Kosi, okay, Alpha, have you guys talked about what to happen? Outside of the house, I should say no, really. But from what Tabang is saying, Tabang has said that when they get outside of the house, that it's going to be a clean page, like it's going to be a clean slate for everybody, either for her or Nelisa, like or even stranger. That everybody is going to start from zero with him. So and that alone is, you know, is somehow. But she knows that. Taban doesn't mean it. She says she knows that Taban doesn't mean it because Taban always say things, you know, that it does not mean just to come up, uh, you know, a certain way, you know, just to paint a narrative about himself and uh, stuff like that. And it's so annoying to her. And this is one of the reasons why she chose Yemi over Taban because Yemi is that guy that, yes, Yemi has his own flaws, he's playing around, but he's still very direct. But Tabang, you cannot just figure him out. You know, you think he's here this minute, the next minute he's acting up. Because he even says something like, yes, yeah, she knows that Yemi is not perfect, but Yemi is this kind of guy that whenever somebody says things about her, Yemi is going to come and tell her about it. If somebody says things about Yemi, she will go and tell Yemi about it. They had each other's back. But with Tabang, he will have conversation with people. Some persons will come and discuss about her, and he will never bring it up. And just to say, you don't expect Tabang to bring every conversation to you. You know, especially with the whole house settings. And because he said no, Justin will say, don't worry, by the time you get us out of the house, you are going to know the real Tabang. And because he was not like, no, 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 that is really, really annoying to her because... Her that we are saying, that is who she is. Either inside or outside of the house, that this is cozy. She is not changed. She is not doing anything for the game. She is being herself. You cannot see this cozy and when you get outside of the house, you see a different cozy. That this is who she is. It doesn't make sense when you come on this show and you are acting a certain way. And later you tell me when we get outside of the house, I'll get to know the real you. That this is the real me. Okay? Because he was saying that this is who she is. She's keeping it on dread. She's keeping it 100. Does she know why the guy is just doing anyhow? That it seems like the guy is speaking a struggle that is not her. She now later opened up to Justin the real issue. She says she noticed that not every housemate are in support of what is going on between her and Tabang. And she overheard Tabang, Ipeleng and Tati having conversation about her. They were trying to like advise Tabang or ask Tabang how far your situation with, you know, Kosi. Are you really sure about it? A girl that has relationship outside of the house, you know, had something with Yemi and now you. Like, how far about this whole thing that is going on? So she said that the response Taban gave to those ladies, it seemed like Taban is playing game with her. Because Taban said, don't worry, I got this, you know, and stuff like that. That the body language and Tabang's response that day when they were having that conversation about her, 
seemed like the guy is just doing this whole thing for the game. That she knows that a band likes him. She knows they like each other. But this whole thing seemed like a game. Because she doesn't understand how some ladies will talk about her. And Taban does not feel the need, you know, to bring it up to her for them to talk about it. Unlike Yemi, you know, whenever somebody says anything about her, Yemi will come and tell her and stuff like that. So she was really expecting Taban to come up and have that conversation. Okay, see, 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 oh, see what the ladies are saying about you. See what they think about our relationship. She has been waiting for that conversation to happen, but it has never come up. Guys, before you know it, Kosi teared up. Oh. Like, she started crying. She said the conversation made her feel, you know, a certain way. And she was really hoping that Taban would come and have that conversation with her. But it has not happened. So that thing is still making her think like, okay, maybe this whole thing is just all about the game for Tabang. Whereas her... She's been honest and genuine like that. And she even mentioned that she knows that Tabang is kind of worried about a boyfriend, you know, a reality outside of the house. You know, she has a four-year relationship before coming to the house. And Tabang is feeling like, okay, you're not going to be in my league by the time we get outside of the house. Okay. Um, the Shalaya was plenty. The summary of what... Kosi was telling J Justin is that she's keeping it real with Tabang, but Tabang is not being real. You know, Tabang is playing smart and acting as if this is all a this is all a game. Because how would people say something about me concerning our relationship and you keep it to yourself? That alone makes it seem like the boy is playing games with her. All right, and later black boy came around. In fact, a boo later came. I'm like, okay, at this point in time, it's giving us king of boys. So they kept talking about our whole relationship thing. You know, Justin was not asking Kosi how far is he Yemi or Tabang? Who do you want at this point in time? But she didn't really like answer that question. And it was so funny how Ebubu adjusted himself, you know. <laughs> he had to sit up to get response from Kosi. And later, Justin asked Kosi Alpha, what conversation did you have with your boyfriend before coming to the house? And Kosi said, to be honest, she did not really have any conversation with her boyfriend, okay? She told her boyfriend that she's coming to Big Brother, though the boyfriend is not so in support of her coming to the show but Baba was just trying to be a supportive man and she said okay do you do whatever makes you happy if that will boost your career and stuff like that just do you and just was like really so you mean you never had a proper conversation about what could come up in the show and she said no they did not really talk about that the guy is aware that she's coming to the show and he gave his full support. So, Tosu was saying that, to be honest, she cannot really say if it's Yemi or Tabang or, uh, or her boyfriend because she needs to get outside of the house and know and see things for herself. Because at this point in time, she does not even know if her boyfriend will still be interested. She cannot say she's going to Yemi because she doesn't even know if Yemi is interested. You know, that kind of thing. So they were just trying to tell her, baby girl, in all of these things, you just have to find a good explanation. Because with what is going on now, it is very, very messy and complicated. You just have to get yourself a reasonable explanation for all your actions in the house. Um, on just this question, we're just endless yesterday. Justin was not asking Kosi, are you not scared about what might happen outside of the house? And she said, no, she's not scared of anything. She's not scared of approaching her boyfriend. Neither is she scared of approaching, you know, Yemi. You know, Black Boy just kept telling her, you know, just have a reasonable explanation for all these things you did in the house. Just get yourself 
a reasonable explanation for what you did. Um, uh, the conversation was so lengthy. Ah, uh-uh. ah. I said, big brother, now only cost to date this house today. <laughs> Later, Black Boy and Kosi were talking. And Black Boy was even telling Kosi, like, okay, where are you going to spend the night today? This time, you and Tabanga are having issues. And Kosi said, uh, maybe I'll go sleep with Yvonne. That she's not going to sleep on that bed with Tabango. And Black Boy thinks she was playing. Men and brothers, she did not sleep on Tabang's bed, though. She went and lay down on Yaya's bed. That was where she crashed for the night. I'm like, wow, this matter is really serious, so It is really, really serious. So, guys, what do you think? Tabang not relating to Kosi, the conversation he had with Tati and Ipeleng about her and the relationship, is it enough reason for Kosi to conclude that Tabang is actually playing a game. Oh my, it's the way Tabang avoided the whole conversation yesterday. In fact, I even told Justin, when you are done, please bring my drinks for me. And he later even came upstairs and took something. Big brother only showed us where he was living. He did not talk, he did not do anything. Kosi and Tabang avoided each other, literally all through the night. And one of the most funny thing is this, you know, Kosi is still trying to like complain about how Tabang had conversation with Ipeleng and Tatsi about their relationship. When Tabang was angry and left though, he went down to go be with Ipeleng and Tatsi. <laughs> I'm like, does it mean this guy knows what Kosi is talking about? And he's just trying to avoid too much shalaye because it choke. Anyway, in as much as this is a game, I don't think Kosi should expect Taban to be like Yemi. Yemi is that guy that was free with Kosi, you know, she it was open with Kosi, always relating anything and everything with Kosi. I don't think Kosi should expect that same thing from Taban because they are different people. Alright. Taban not telling Kosi the whole conversation he had with Tati and Ipeleng. I don't think it's enough reason for her to conclude that Tabang is actually playing a game. Because from what she said, Tabang told the ladies that don't worry, I'm going to handle this thing. You know, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll handle it. So I don't think it's enough reason for her to think that Tabang is really playing game and not being genuine. Or 100% invested in their relationship. But for the fact that Kosi cried, it means that thing really hurts her. It means she has really, really been waiting and eager for that conversation to happen. But it doesn't seem like it's coming forth. So guys, about the party. Yesterday's party was lit. The DJ. I have never seen a DJ so engaging. She came with this big vibe, big energy. She literally parted with the housemates. I'm like, what? And there's something she did, like, you know, there's this funny dance, housemates used to dance, like, they'll be hitting their head, and she was just there, directing them. She would tell them to go, and later tell them to come back. I'm like, yo, this DJ is everything. What a beautiful DJ with amazing vibe. Housemates party, they dance literally. Um, well, Biggie asked housemates to spice things up. I don't know the kind of spice Tabang and Black Boy brought into the party yesterday. Who dashed them wig? And the way they were twinning, um, especially Black Boy. Black Boy was literally having fun with that wig. He was just shaking his head, shaking his head. I'm like, hey, okay, who gave you wig? Do you know what you look like? <laughs> you look like a masquerade in that week. <laughs> but he was having fun. Like, literally, he was just jumping, enjoying himself. Housemates partied. Kosi and Tabang had their moment. Kanaga Jr. and Tati had their moment. It was really fun. And in fact, after the whole party, housemates kept talking about... You know, the DJ, how the DJ is so good looking, how she's pretty, how she did amazingly well. 
I'm like, these are the kind of DJs we need. So guys, I'd like to hear from you. What do you think about Kosi and Tabang's fight yesterday? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, you know, subscribe and comment down below. Kosi and Tabang, I hear you.